Okay, morning guys. Um, firstly, well done yesterday. Uh, some really good scores there and, and working's uh, fantastic and in very quickly and on time. So well done with that. Uh, some great results. I haven't got the results in from Miss Chobosic's class, uh, but I think a lot of you should be really pleased with what you've done. Certainly will be competitive. Um, and I think that's a really good way to end the topic on volumes and surface area. So, so great stuff. Uh, today we're moving on to a new topic, so you need to start a yeah, fresh page in your book. It's called Functions. Um, it's a topic that gets a little bit harder, but it's not too bad uh, if you stay with it. So um, that's what the plan is today. Uh, so new uh, title, I'm going to disappear now and um, yeah, not make a good start on this new topic, Functions. Okay. Right, okay, so, um, right, functions, here we go. Functions and the date today is the 30th. Right, now functions is just another way of writing an equation, really. So let's imagine we have y equals 5x plus 1, okay? Now functions is just a different way of writing that. So all I mean by that is uh, you write f of x equals 5x plus 1. That would mean exactly the same thing. Some function of x is equal to 5x plus 1. Or another way that we sometimes write functions is rarer, but it does come up, f, x, and then arrow, 5x plus 1. All of those mean the same thing, okay? Now, it doesn't have to just be f of x. It could be g of x. So we might have, um, we could have another function, g of x equals plus 1 squared or in the same way g comma x arrow x plus 1 squared they all mean they, they would mean the same thing for g of x you could have an h of x you could have anything of x but generally f of x or g of x are the two most common so let's go straight in with evaluating functions okay evaluating. Um, so i'm going to put a few in here so find f of 1, f of uh, 3, let's go 3, g of minus 5, uh, let's go uh, f to x, Let's go five over here. F of p six b three x and then seven seven examples g two x plus one. Okay. Now we're going to use these f x here. So f x is going to be this one, and g x is going to be that one, or the one below. Okay, or the one below. Now, what this means is f f1, that means you replace x. Wherever you see an x, you take it out and you put in 1 instead. So this is equal to 5. You take the x out and you put whatever's in that bracket in instead. So 5, 1, plus 1. Now, that's just going to be 5 plus 1. So the answer to that one is 6. Okay. Right, g3, okay, you go over to the g of x1. You take x out and you put 3 in instead. So it's take the x out and you get 3 plus 1 squared so that's 4 squared so the answer to that 16 g of 3 would be 16 um, you might want to have a go at g of minus 5 yourself okay um, think about that one yep you're going to just replace x at minus 5 plus 1 squared be careful with the double negatives that's going to be minus 4 in brackets squared which is 16 again. So g of 3 is the same as g of minus 5. f of 2x, okay, well, I take, this is a bit confusing, because I take x out and I put 2x in, in its place. So f of 2x would equal 5. I've taken x out, I put 2x in instead, plus 1. So that's going to equal 10x plus 1. That's what f of 2x is. So sometimes it's in terms of algebra. Right, here we go. Question 5. 
again f4p I do the same I always take x out put 4 in p in its replacement that's going to be 5 4p plus 1 times that together I get 20p plus 1 okay that would be the answer to that one uh, g of 3x again you might want to have a go at this one take x out put 3x instead so it's 3x plus 1 squared I mean I'm just going to leave it like that they might want you to expand out the brackets but I'm just going to leave it like that and the final one g 2x plus 1 well I take the x out and I put 2x plus 1 in in its place plus the other one squared and I'm just going to simplify that to 2x plus 2 squared and that will be my answer if it it might ask you to multiply out the brackets it might not um, but just follow those instructions carefully and you'll be fine with this what I want you to do today so homework slash uh, well classwork uh, and homework is uh, Hegarty tasks okay there's two tasks on there because you've done so well yesterday I'm not going to set you loads today Hegarty tasks it's due on Friday Okay, uh, due on Friday, and you must upload. Must upload to the correct OneNote page. Okay, so you're all getting very good at uploading to OneNote. Uh, so please do upload to the correct OneNote page, and I will uh, see you guys or or chat to you guys on the video uh, tomorrow. Well done.